Are you tired of the same old pro wrestling? Then check out the amazing action on powerslam.tv, the biggest indie pro wrestling channel in the world. Get over 3,000 hours of the best pro wrestling events from over 100 of the biggest names in the industry from over 15 countries around the globe. Get your free trial today at powerslam.tv. What's up, y'all? It's Jeff Cobb, and you're listening to Ricky and Clive Wrestling Show on Social Suplex Podcast Network. You're listening to the Ricky and Clive Wrestling Show. Listener discretion is advised at all times. Hello and thank you once again for downloading and listening to another episode and a special bonus episode of the Ricky and Clive Wrestling Show, part of the Social Suplex Podcast Network, in association with powerslam.tv, where you can put in the promo code Social Suplex. That will give you the option to get a free month's worth of thousands upon thousands of hours of independent wrestling, so do that. But after you've listened to this special episode, which will air, on the 26th of December, I hope you've all had a good Christmas with your loved ones. Um, the time for loving and being friends is over as of now though. This is going to be a triple threat <laughs> tag team match between ourselves and Ricky. Good evening, Ricky. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guys from Keeping It Strong Style, Jeremy and Josh. Hello, gentlemen. Hey guys. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. And last but not least, we've got Rich and James from One Nation Radio. Hello. What's going on, y'all? So What's going on, Scotland? <laughs> <laughs> We're international. Yeah. You notice that Clive said the guys from Keeping a Strong Style didn't even say our names. We we are faceless gentlemen yeah. from Keeping a Strong Interchangeable. Style. Interchangeable. <laughs> We're just some Jags. Yeah, just some guys. <laughs> they can be Jag champions. The J- I, I would say that Jeremy is a gentleman and Josh is just a guy. Damn. <laughs> they did. I'm I'm the young boy, in case you don't know, around these parts. I don't. I don't listen. Damn. Damn. <laughs> right. Now, God knows how this is going to go. Well, mad people listen to our show, so that's fine. <laughs> Also, the trash talking started already. <laughs> right. God knows how this will go. Some different Skype connections. Uh, rules are up for the debate, but we're going to just start and get things rolling. So the first round out of five rounds is going to be what's called a chosen subject round. What will happen is each team has two chosen subjects between them. And the other two teams get to quiz them on those questions. And if they get them right, they get a point. And we all take turns being the quiz master. And it works its way around. I'm not doing a good job of explaining it. But as you listen, you will understand. And I hopefully hopefully this works out. Because if it isn't, then the last couple of weeks have been for feck all. And I might cry. <laughs> should, should we flip a coin to figure out who goes first? A three-sided, War game style? A three-sided coin? <laughs> no, a G one, a G one between all of us of coin flips. A G one, yeah, we yeah. got to do a round robin tournament before we start the actual show. <laughs> you, you see, you see what I'm dealing with, Brian. You uh, see that? You see, you see this? The the healed them. It's just shocking. Right. <laughs> I already finished my first beer. I'm on the beer number two. Oh God! How about <laughs> <laughs> how about I pick a number in my head between one and twenty-five, and each team picks a number, and whoever's closest goes. So twenty-five. Right, I've not actually picked yet. So hold on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right. I've I've picked I've picked now. So kiss guys. James, you pick a number. 
Kiss, you want to go first? Pick a number. Yeah, uh, 15. Oh, uh, you should pick one because we're itchy, Bon. <laughs> uh, James? Eight. Who gives a shit? Like, eight. <laughs> and, and Ricky? We won't pick. We'll just let one of our guests go first. Right, well, the number was 17, so the keeping it strong still guys go first, then One Nation Radio, then us. How's that sound? So, Wait, that's not good. That, that means we got to answer questions, right? Are, are we quiz masters first, or are we yeah, you can ask questions first? Uh, you can be the quiz masters first, so you get to ask. No, sorry. Okay. No, see, this is where it's fallen down already. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's going to be your chosen subjects, and us two teams will ask you, okay? Okay. Okay. So, Josh, your chosen subject was Ric Flair. Wait, 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 wait. You were going to give us a live rendition? Oh, so oh, yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. I'll just go for it before I get embarrassed. <laughs> it's fucking quiz time with Ricky and Clive at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> a fucking WWE quiz. <laughs> I think I think Ricky just spit out his apple juice or whatever he's drinking. Oh my God. Oh my God. Right. So, uh, Josh, your chosen subject was Ric Flair, and Woo-hoo. Jeremy's was um, the Heartbreak Kid, Sean Michaels. So, the One Nation Radio guys, do you want to give your questions first? And I'll, I'll yes, as you uh, get us started. I've got a score sheet here. Uh, who wants to answer first? I'll go first. Okay, figure out who's going to step up to the to the quiz master. <laughs> All right, so okay, so Josh, your your subject your subject was Ric Flair. So Ric Flair has had five matches at WrestleMania. Uh, what is his win loss record at WrestleMania? Okay, he lost to Rick or he lost to Shawn Michaels. He lost to Undertaker. He lost to Macho Man Randy Savage. He lost in the um, Money in the Bank. Who else did he wrestle at at WrestleMania? Can you think of another WrestleMania match he had? Let's count them. Oh, oh, he is one in four because uh, Evolution beat the Rock and Sock Connection. You are correct. One and four. Mm. A point in the bag already, Josh. Well done. Okay. Now, this one's a little tougher. Ric Flair, uh, with 14 Starcade matches, is tied for second most all time. What is the square root of this room? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Ask now, me here's a question. question. I don't know math. Here's the real question. Okay. Ric Flair has 14 matches in Star K, second most, tied for second most all time. Who are the two other wrestlers with at least 14 Star K matches? How many, how many like uh, guesses do I get? Okay, I'll give you a hint. They were they were once a tag team. And there's two people I can guess. It's two people. But how many guesses do I get? I don't know. I don't. It's not my look. Not my quiz. Ask Brian. Uh, um, it's up to you. It's at your discretion. Oh well, I'll give you two. I'll give you two guesses. Okay, <laughs> it's two guesses to get two guys right. Um, no, 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 no. Two wrong you answers. Get, okay, yeah, you can be wrong uh, twice. Is one of them Sting? Yes. Okay. Is the other person Lex Luger? That should make it real easy. Yes. There you Woo! go. Right. Yes. <clears throat> right. So you gotta love the niche members of the Four Horsemen. You went. To- All right. All righty. What's up? Oh no! I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, what was Ric Flair's entry number in the 1992 Royal Rumble? It was number two. And oh, oh, 
He was number three, wasn't he? That is, yeah, he was number three. But oh, he my said, God. Oh. I'm an idiot. Oh, this man with a simple, with a, with a, with a, with a uh, simple one. With a simpy. <laughs> yeah, simple. <laughs> All right. Who was Ric Flair trained by? Oh, that's easy. Vern Gagne. Correct, sir. So I got three out of four, right? Yep. Yes. All right. All right. Now it's on to HBK. Okay. So, Jeremy, Shawn Michaels is tied with Kane for third all-time in most WrestleMania matches. How many WrestleMania matches has Shawn Michaels had? Is it ten? No. What was it? What's the answer? Say, can I jump? Oh, I'm gonna say yep. I, I was like, can we jump? It like, I, no, I, I, only 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 me and Jeremy can help each other during this part. Yeah. Hold on. Got um. <clears throat> the question is, how many matches has Shawn Michaels had at WrestleMania? Oh. The first one I remember is Wrestle, uh, the re- 1990 WrestleMania. I can't remember. I don't. Did they were 88? Uh, I don't think so. Well, he definitely wrestled at every WrestleMania. Uh, the Rockers is the only thing that's messing me up. He definitely wrestled every WrestleMania as a singles all the way through to WrestleMania 14. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, he didn't wrestle. He didn't wrestle at 13 though. So all the way to 14, and then after that, you gotta jump to. WrestleMania, 20, wait, night to WrestleMania 19. nineteen. No, is it nineteen? Is yeah. that where he wrestled Jericho? Yeah, yeah. So nineteen all the way up to twenty six. So that's a lot. Yeah. So nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. That's seven right there. Yeah, and then from WrestleMania fourteen, back. To nine. What number was ninety? Uh, six. That's another eight. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Fifteen. No. What was? What's the answer? Seventeen. Oh uh, my gosh! So close. That's a tough question. Yeah. Six and eleven. God damn it! Oh my god! This. <laughs> You just that was my next the, question. That's the next question. <laughs> <laughs> did you send me those? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, uh, James, you're going to have to come up with another question on the fly. Yeah, no, actually what we're going to do is, Rich, you're going to do your questions now while I go buy time to go ask, go find another question. Gotcha. <clears throat> All righty. So, in right. May of... Yep, Botchamania. In May of 1995, who did Shawn Michaels defeat to win the Intercontinental Championship? May of 95. Jeff Jarrett? Correct, sir. Mm. All righty. Um... What pay-per-view did The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels' first match take place? Mm Mm-hmm. But I think... But I'm not totally sure, but I think that's correct. Isn't isn't that one with the Hell in a Cell? Yeah. That was her first match? I think so. In your house, bad blood. <laughs> what was it? The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels had their first match at Ground Zero, where it ended with the crazy brawl, which led to the Hell in a Cell the following month. Gotcha. I didn't think I, I didn't think the Hell in a Cell was. The I don't first fucking year. remember that. I remember the wrestling or the stuff on Raw. I don't remember the Ground Zero match. Damn. So, have you got another question, James? <coughs> uh, 
yeah. Um, okay, so Shawn Michaels was the first ever term WWF uh, Grand Slam champion. What were the four championships he won? The WWF Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, the European Championship, and the Tag Team Championships. Correct. Boom, two out of four. Good job. Yep. <laughs> we're like we're like the Rockers right now. Yeah, but you would you wouldn't have got my answer my question uh it had Rich not fucked me, so <laughs> <laughs> You're basically stinging, he's basically Ric Flair right now. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> right. okay. Ricky, do you want to do you want to do the questions while I try and think of one quickly? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. What do you mean think of one? You guys didn't prepare? <laughs> no, but there was not supposed to be as many questions in this round, but it's been done now, so I'm happy to keep going that way, it's fine. Gotcha. So this is for Josh Ric Flair. In which year did Ric Flair win his first NWA world title? Nineteen eighty one. Correct. <laughs> um, wait, so we only have two questions ready to go for each category because you told us to change it. So did we. I know oh, okay. <laughs> I guess, well, we can just pull up our old questions. <clears throat> right. Aye. Yeah, because you've still got them there. No, we don't. We Well, yeah, I guess I can find them. Question number two. I'll finish. Ric Flair's last ever match is against who and in which company? It was Sting, and it was in TNA slash Impact for uh, Caleb. <laughs> ah, fuck Caleb, it's TNA. <laughs> yeah. Right, Jeremy. Oh, and that 1981 match was against Dusty Rhodes. It was in Kemper, uh, Kemper, wherever Kemper is. <laughs> right, I'll keep asking the Ric Flair questions, Ricky. All right. All right, go on. You go. How many of Ric Flair's world title reigns were the NWA title? Oh, damn. It's a great question. Ten. Nine. Oh. Well, that's debatable, but okay. <laughs> no, no. Oh, the 16 is debatable. Isn't ar- can you argue that he's like, actually was like a 24 time uh, champion or something, something like, like that? that. 25. Man. You can find more than that. It's debatable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the next Ric Flair question is, who did Ric Flair formally, first formally manage upon his move to TNA? Which stable did he manage? Fortune. The first one that he formally managed was Beer Money. Ah. Uh... Uh... But then that turned into Fortune. See, I, yeah, I was kind of confused because Beer Money's part of Fortune, but okay, that's fine. So I got... You got five out of eight. Five out of eight. That's pretty good. Uh, right, so, Ricky, you've got the HBK questions for Jeremy. Yep. By the way, I don't see your fourth on this, just so you know. I know, I'm, so I'm, I'm doing I'm it right I'm taking now. the bottom two. Right, how many... I see titles as HBK win. I don't remember. I'm trying to think how many times you want it. Well, remember he won against Bulldog, mm-hmm. Jeff Jarrett, Razor. Mm-hmm. Did he beat anybody else? Just, I don't remember anyone else besides that. Three? Correct. Oh, yes. When HBK returned to join the NWO, which city did this take place in? Oh, shit. Which city did he join the NWO in? In 2002. When Kevin, uh, when Kevin Ash introduced him. Fuck if I know. <laughs> Damn. Um, was it? I'm just gonna guess San, San Antonio. You were close, Dallas. Oh. Uh. Right. My two questions are: Who eliminated Shawn Michaels in the 2003 Royal Rumble?
Boy, I wish I could steal questions on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris yeah. Jericho. Yeah, well done. Um, is that is that right? It is. Yeah, there was just a Skype. Clive, is that right? Uh huh. Oh, nice. We got it. Skype delays there. That's all right. Last question: How many times has Heartbreak Kid been a tag team champion in WWE slash F? Are you recognizing the Phantom Reign of the Rockers or no? Define Phantom. So it it happened, but because the rope, the rings, the rope, the ring broke, they they got rid of the tape, and pretty much it never happened. They never acknowledged it, but it happened. Depending how close your answer is, I'll give you it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, how many times did he win it with Triple H? Because that's the only person. Well, no, because remember the DX run in 07, they won it. Did he win it with Stone Cold? Yeah. This, I don't remember how many times he won it. This I just know he won. It. This answer I've got doesn't include the Phantom Rockers one. Was Stone Cold. You want to call you one with Triple H? Said what? It does not include? Yeah, so you can take that out if you want. Stone Cold Triple H. How many times did he win it with Triple H? Like two or three times? I don't remember. Did he also win it with Ric Flair one time? I don't know. Yeah. I have no clue. No. Uh, I'm going to guess four. It was six. Uh, what? When did this happen? Right, so he won, a, he won the WWE title with Triple H and then the WWF ones <coughs> uh, twice with Diesel. <coughs> oh, oh Diesel. About Diesel. Yeah. We forgot about Diesel. Austin. Meh, meh. Austin's in there, Triple H, and another WWE one with John Cena. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, seven. We're, we're dumb. Damn. Freaking A. Okay, so I know you guys, you know, um, Texas, you know, is one state and all that thing, but Texas is big as hell. So y'all say that, like, San Antonio and Dallas are close to each other. They're like, how do I say this? They're like 230 miles away from each other. For To give you reference on that, like, Glasgow to Birmingham is like 290 miles. Right. Yeah, it like it's just the same state. It's a big ass state. That's all. Sorry, I'm a geek. <laughs> that's funny. Fun fact: me, me and Jeremy or me and uh, James actually lived in Houston. That's no, it. you went out there by yourself, and the next year we lived in Bur- uh, in uh, Baltimore. Oh, that's right. I lived in Houston and Dallas, and James never lived with me in Texas. Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. So it's write like, that down. It's <laughs> it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's One Nation Radio's turn to be quizzed so um, Kiss guys do you want to go first with the questions These guys, James, sure. James yeah. has picked the four horsewomen of WWE and Rich has went for Bret Hart <clears throat> who wants to go first who wants to get these hands Watch Jeremy start. I'm sorry. Watch John start asking shit about Stampede. Watch. <laughs> that was a blue <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> look, look, you see? See? Look at him. Look uh, at him. Yeah. Man, I'm wow. not asking anything about Stampede, but Jeremy might be. So, you want to do Bret Hart first? Yeah, we run it. All right. So. Oh, also, by the way, we will be asking the questions that we came up with, by the way, just so y'all know who developed what. Look, man, we like Jeremy more than you. Get over it. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, which Hart brother did Bret Hart win the Stampede International Tank <laughs> Champions with four times with? Was it A, Smith Hart, B, Bruce Hart, C, Ross Hart, or D, Keith Hart? Here's why I got you. It is Bruce. Oh, no, it's oh. not. It wasn't Bruce? It's Keith. Man, I thought it was Bruce. This man looks so confident just now. Go figure. Okay. I was. I was confident. Confidence not shaken. What match is Bret Hart quoted as being his all-time worst pay-per-view match? Here's a hint. It occurred in WWF. You I already know what it is. What is it? 
versus Roddy Piper at WrestleMania 11, the, his I Quit match. Yes! <laughs> That's hilarious, yes. I that. thought it was Bob Backlund. Well, it's not against Roddy, Roddy Piper. Roddy, Roddy Piper was the ref, right. and he wrestled against uh, Bob Backlund, my fault. Yeah, he guessed the right match. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. All right, so question number three. Who did Bret Hart win? Who did he tag with in his WWF television debut? Hmm. Who did he tag with in his WWE television debut? Because it was not Jim the Anvil and I Hart. Nope. It was not. Uh, correct. Let's see. I will take. Ooh, this is a good one. Bret Hart tag teamed with Davy Boy Smith. Oh, close. my God. It's so close. close. It was Dynamite Kid. Fuck. Topic on that one? Brought in them together. That was cool. that was hard, bro. Okay, this one might be easy. Are you watching Brian, Brian and Vinny right now? No. Oh, because they're about to cover this. Bret Hart had two televised matches in 2000, following his Starcade 1999 match with Goldberg before he retired. Who were his two tele? Who were his last two televised opponents in WCW? Terry Funk and Kevin Nash. Oh my god, I knew he would know this. Yeah. Oh my god, that's correct. I knew he was going to know that. <laughs> so you uh, you want to ask James his questions for four horsewomen now, and then we'll take yes. Yeah. Good job, Rich. Um, when Bailey made her WWE debut in FCW, she had a different name and gimmick. What name did she wrestle under? Luchadora, Davina Rose. Pamela Martinez or Wendy pulling the wagon? (laughs) 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 Okay, Davina Rose was her uh, shimmer name, from what I remember. Um, What were the uh, what were the other what were the other two the other two what was A in in um, in A B and C? Luchadora, Davina Rose, and Pamela Martinez. I'm going to say Pamela Martinez. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. Pamela Martinez is her real name. Luchadora was the gimmick she wrestled under under a mask for her first few matches with FCW. I was thinking of saying that. I was. I just went with her real name because of like they probably changed her name eventually. But I knew that like Davina Rose was her uh, was other name. The other name was garbage. The wagon deal. And then, <laughs> and then Luchadora. Like the reason why they say Luchadora is because of the Becky Lynch thing with uh, with Alexa Bliss okay. a yeah. couple years back. All right, so the next question. What was the name of the stable that Sasha Banks was a member of in NXT? I'll give you three guesses. Oh, Team Bad. Not Team Bad. Oh, my God. Uh, that, that was Raw. That was on Raw. That's right. And that wasn't her. Or actually, it was her. They put the minorities together. Um, It was... It was... <laughs> it was. I know it was, it was her, it was Charlotte, and it was uh, Summer Rae. Correct. That's correct. Yeah. So the name. It wasn't Bad Girls Club, was it? <laughs> no. no. That's two. I I'll, I'll give you this one hint. You're you're having a lot of alliteration with B's. This one starts with the B. Oh, Team BFF or whatever, right? Yeah. Oh, he got it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful, fierce females. I knew it started with a B, so when you said the B, then I was like, I already know that, but I just can't remember it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. On a May 2000 episode of Monday Nitro, Charlotte Flair made her on screen wrestling debut at 13 years old. David Flair, Daphne, and who else were trying to break into her home? <coughs> I'm sorry, say it again. So she was on a 2000 episode of Monday Nitro. And she made her, when she was 13 years old. She's on screen, and she's a pretty prominent character in this bit. Daphne, David Flair, and someone else are trying. 
Okay, I'm gonna draw. I figure I figure it'll come around eventually. It will speed up soon. And to break it. Who is the other? Who's the other? We'll give you three. All right, you lagged really bad for a second. So start from the part where you start naming the the the, the family members. Okay. Who was? Who's the the one person? Did you hear the question or no? I heard the question up until you start naming <laughs> names. So name the names. David Flair mm-hmm. and Daphne and this other person were trying to break into the Flair home. Who's the other person? Reed? It was not Reed. <laughs> it was a heel character. He would pick one I wasn't watching. Um... This is a famous scene because he had mad heat with Charlotte at 13 years old. And heat with the – think of this. He had heat with Ric Flair on screen. What, what year is this again? 2000. <clears throat> oh, we stumped. I'm totally stumped on this. I'm just going to throw out a guess. Uh – Arn. It's not Arn. You got one last guess. Yeah, go ahead. I'm out. Okay, it was Vince Russo. That was my guess. Fuck! (laughs) You know, you guys can confer with each other. Also, uh, wasn't Charlotte in the Starcade thing with Vader when he left out the house and got in the limo? No, that's not Charlotte. Okay. All right. Fuck, that was my guess. Vince Russo, as soon as you said something about the heat. You guys can talk with each other. I I, I didn't know that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So the last horsewoman question: How many NXT? Oh, lags again. Let's just talk amongst the title matches uh, ever competed in. One more time, Jeremy. Lagged again. Sorry. Sorry about that. How many NXT title matches has Becky Lynch ever competed in? Oh. You said NXT title matches? NXT yeah. title yeah. matches. So, yeah, she, I know she was in... Um, she had the match with Sasha, and she also was in that four-way. Right. Um, I can't... I don't, but, I, but I'm not sure about anything else. I'd go with that. That is correct. Yeah, I'll say the two. Yeah, that's it's correct. Two. Yeah, okay. Okay, right, so it's our turn. Ricky, do you want to ask Rich's Bret Hart questions? And then I'll ask. <clears throat> yep. Question number one. Bret Hart defeated who for his first ever Intercontinental title win? Bret Hart defeated Mr. Perfect. Correct. Yeah. At SummerSlam 91. Classic. <laughs> Which years did Bret Hart win the King of the Ring? 1991 and 1993. Correct. Right, so here's my questions for Bret Hart. So there was a tag team match at the Royal Rumble where Bret Hart had a kayfabe knee injury and Owen Hart started kicking at him and stuff. Who were the other tag team in that match? The Quebecers. (sighs) Dang it. Bastard. (laughs) Right. Next one, which did Bret Hart win more? The WWF IC title or the WCW US title? The WCW US, you, you said the WWF title or the WCW US title? Uh huh. So. Did they want the, the same amount? No, no, no. Uh, Rich, it was the WWF IC title. Oh, sorry about that. Or the US title? Uh huh. Yep. He won the US title more. Oh, a clean sweep of Bret Hart questions from us there. Wow. A nice five points all in for you. Well done. Right, Ricky, you have four horsewomen questions. I'll let you go first. Okay, James. Uh, In the fatal four-way match between the four horsewomen at NXT TakeOver Rival, who did Sasha pin to become the women's champion? Charlotte. Okay. And then they hugged. (laughs) <laughs> correct what have I put where is it 
And then after they hugged, they stepped further away from each other because they weren't supposed to hug. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, Sasha debuted with Team Bad in 2015. Name the two other members of Team Bad. Oh, Naomi and Tamina. Yeah, you'd hinted at that earlier, so I knew you would get that one. Yes, they, they, yes, they just group, three groups of three, and they were like, yeah, let's just put all the minorities together. All the, like the brown skin girls, all right. just put them all, just put them all, you know. Yeah, and we'll put Alicia Fox with the bells to throw off the scent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, she's the one that doesn't, never mind. I'm not even going to go into that. Uh, but I was about to say something that I would only say to, like, Sierra. Nope. So, never mind. I'm not even going to say it. Yeah. Right, Ricky. Bailey's in ring NXT debut match was against who? That's a great question. Let me know if you need me, James, because I think I have an idea. <clears throat> I just remember her coming in and she was like, she was really hugged up on Paige, but I don't remember if they had a match or not. Yeah, I'll, I'll tag you. I'll tag you in, Rich. Charlotte. That's right, Charlotte. It is Charlotte. Was it not Paige? <laughs> no, it's Charlotte. Are we sure? Well, yeah, you, go you. ahead. Final answer. That is Bailey versus Paige. Oh, March, March 20, 2013. Mm, Should have mm. what I thought it was. Mm. All right. All right. You got me. <sighs> Looks like Rich doesn't know Bailey the way he knows Brett. <laughs> <laughs> there is no Bailey book. <laughs> Yet. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. <laughs> you see how they push that woman? <laughs> <sighs> right. From first to last, in order, who won a main roster title from first to last? Oh, from first to last? On the main roster? On the main roster. Okay, so... (laughs) Okay, yeah, so that would be uh, Charlotte, then Sasha, then Becky, then Bailey. Final answer. It was Charlotte. Yeah. yeah. She won the Divas, followed by Becky, then Sasha, then Billy. Yeah, mm. it was Becky's second. Nah, can't be. Because Becky yeah, didn't that... win the title until after the brand split. Charlotte or Sasha won the belt Sasha. on like the first Raw of the brand split. He's right. He's right, Ricky. J- Sasha won just as the brand split was happening. J- July, oh. July, tw- July 25th, 2016. Was, oh, okay, I'll give you. And then, and then Becky, and then, <laughs> listen, but Becky, but check this out. Becky won. Becky won the SmackDown title on the first SmackDown branded pay per view. Yep. She was their inaugural champion. September seventh. Yeah. Why do I know these dates off the top of my head? I don't and if know. I remember, and if I remember correctly, Charlotte won the. She was going. She was going to win the title at, at SummerSlam, and she ended up getting screwed out of it. And she didn't win it at Night of Champ or Clash of Champions, Night of Champions, whatever it is, in two thousand fifteen. From from uh, Nikki Bell and got her the hell out of it and bro- it ended the reign of terror. Right, I'll give you the point. Right, so you got five. Both of you guys got five each there, so a total of ten points. The Kiss guys got nine points, so you're in the lead so far. And oh and it's better God. than them. <laughs> it's, it's our turn. Um, my chosen subject is Edge, and Ricky's chosen subject is the hardcore title twenty four seven real stuff. All right, so. Uh, James and Rich, do you want to go first? Sure. Yeah. Um, which wh- who wants to do answers first, or who wants to answer? I'll, let, I'll I'll let you go, Clive. Okay. <laughs> right, Edge. Okay. Uh, about Edge on the uh, on the January 9th, two thousand two thousand and six edition of Monday Night Raw, Edge and Lita performed their live sex celebration to celebrate. Edge cashing in on John Cena to become the WWE champion the previous night. Mm-hmm. What was the name of the pay-per-view? New Year's Revolution. Correct. Okay. 
Edge is tied with JBL for 14th all time in most WrestleMania matches. How many matches has uh, Edge had in WrestleMania? Oh. Can I be second? Right. I know that when he was having his match with Undertaker, he'd already won six, so I'm just doing some maths. Undertaker, Jericho. No. Right, so six, then there was Undertaker, Jericho, ADR. Is it a year I'm missing, Ricky? It's either 10 or 11. 10 was... Oh, shit. You either had 10 or 11 matches. I'm go- I'll go with 10, James. You are correct. Oh, phew. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, my first question, who did Edge defeat in the finals of the King of the Ring in 2001? (sighs) Oh. Uh. Rhino? No. Uh, Okay. One more guess. Right, Ricky, it was either Christian or... Who Kurt. was it? Who was the other? The other semi was who? Was it not Christian and Kurt? Um, right, I think, okay, I'll, I think it was Kurt because I remember Shane came down and attacked Kurt before their match, I'm sure. I'm sure the street fight was after the King of the Ring finals for some reason. Uh, I'll, I'm going to just go with Kurt Angle. That is correct, sir. Oh, excellent. Oh, nice. Look at One Nation right. Radio out here with these hard-ass questions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do that. Like, <laughs> um, Okay. Uh, what kind of match was Edge in at the 2007 WrestleMania? Two thousand seven. What what was that, Ricky? I said, "Who the fuck did he take on?" It was a uh, Money in the Bank match. Yes, sir. That was when Jeff You're Hardy correct. Jeff Hardy killed him that night. Remember? Oh, it was. Yes. Yes. You would have got that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. So All right. it's the hardcore title questions now. <laughs> is Crash Holy dead? Apparently he is. Okay. Um, there have been, or there were, uh, four female title holders of the Hardcore uh, Championship. Can you name them? Excellent question. Oh, give me a sec. Right, we almost asked the same question. China was one of them. She was another kind of hardcore champion, though. <laughs> <laughs> doot, doot, doot. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> uh, feel free to fucking jump in here, Clive. Right, Molly Holly. Yes. So. That's one. I don't think China was one. If he's not said yes to it yet. Was it four? Yes, four. Four. Um, I think Miss Jacqueline was one. No. <sighs> how many How many guesses do we get? One more incorrect? I'll, gi- I'll, give, you, I'll give you four guesses for each. Uh, I'll give you four guesses, basically. <laughs> but you're allowed to get one wrong <laughs> for each like slot. Right. So they got two wrong, they can get two more wrong. Yes. Miss Miss Terry Ronalds. Yes, that's one. Yeah. This is just a co- coin fair. So you have so you have two so you have two between Molly and, and Terry and then you have uh two answers or you have two more guesses to get these final two. Right. This is me just asking Ricky. This isn't a, mm-hmm. a submission. Okay. Uh, we're one of either May Young or Mueller. 
one of the titles at one point. Maybe, but I don't say it with any conviction. I know, I know of the other one, but I don't know the person's name or anything, though. Mate, what do you mean? <laughs> oh yeah, one person is like a, one person isn't actually. It was a was a it was a how do I say this? And it was I, Godfather's Hole. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so, yeah. <laughs> so you have two guesses to get one. I, I wrote on my list. I wrote Godfather's Companion. That's what I wrote. <laughs> 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 on WWE.com, they say Godfather's friend. <laughs> um, That's amazing. A part of me wants to say Ivory Ricky. I'm not too. I don't know. But I thought you were convinced about... Is there something that tells me me young? I don't remember if she did. It just sounds you like... want a hint? Uh-huh, please. Toronto. Oh, um Trish? Trish? Ricky? Uh, I think so. You want to go we'll for go it? With, we'll, go, uh, we'll go with Trish. Yep, that's it. Damn. Phew. That was a tough. She one. might have won in what she might have won in one of those fifteen-minute matches where you can scramble match. Yeah, yeah. a hardcore scramble match. Yeah, yeah like, like she won it on one of those nights where like six people won the title. Yeah, like Terry was ashamed for like ten seconds or something like that. So, Amazing. like the fact that he was able to get pull Terry out of his ass, like that's impressive. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. So, my no, first no, question. That was, that, oh, that was the first question. I got his question. Oh, that was sure. Sorry about that. Who was the oldest person to ever win the hardcore title? Oh. Now, it's a toss up. Oh, I know. It's, because he, what fucking age was um, Briscoe when he won it? I'm going to say he was older than Patterson. I would think. Just sure, it has to be one of them. And I can't remember Pat being the champ, actually. Pat was. Was he? It's just a case of it was. It's just a case of which one was older of the two. Which one is the older? Well, just go for a go for a stab in the dark. Flip, flip a coin. Flip a coin. I don't actually have a coin. Um. The, Right, wait, 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 wait. Left hand is Pat Patterson. Right hand. Pick one left or right? Right. Pat Patterson? Correct! Oh, yeah. oh. I was like, Joe Briscoe's never been older than Pat Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> he never caught up? No, he hasn't caught up yet. Yeah. Awesome, man. So, uh, my first question to Ricky. Um... Who was the second hardcore champion? Can you say that again? You lagged a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, who was the second hardcore champion? Ooh. I believe he's no longer with us, the boss man. You got it, sir. All righty. Um, who has the second most reigns of any hardcore champion? Oh. Ooh. I know this one. I know this one too. Because everyone think everyone would think that like the person number one is actually never mind. I fucked it up. Right, Ricky, it's either. It's not a crash. It's not a crash. But it might be Raven. No, Raven is Raven. Pretty certain he could be number one here with thirty rings. What about? Then again, everyone did. What about Bradshaw? Who else is around here? I think Bradshaw was quite high up the list, actually, for some reason. Should have to take a stick S. Right, go for it. Um, We've done well this round, so I could take a hit. <laughs> oh, fuck it, crash. You got it, sir. Oh, crash yes. Holly. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was I, like, I looked at it today and I was like, "Wow, Raven is number one." I thought it was Crash. Yeah, Raven's number one. He had mad title reigns. Twenty-seven. 
He was dropping it on like house shows and then winning it back on house shows before they even went back to TV. My God, I don't, I don't remember. That's, that's I remember my kind of once, championship brand. <laughs> I remember they once filmed a segment where they had, I think it was Crash and I don't know who else, but it was like in a kids' soft play area, and they were running about there. It was yeah. like, it's, the twenty four seven is the greatest thing in promotion. <laughs> Raven's title reign is about as legitimate <laughs> as Goldberg's streak was. Right, that's right. <laughs> right. So, keeping it strong style, guys. Do you want to ask me some Edge questions? Yes. Yes. So I will start. Edge had two matches in WCW in nineteen ninety six. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> He did this under the name Damon Stryker. False. <laughs> There's my answer. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this really happened. It's on YouTube. Right. Uh, you have to ask, You have to name two of his the two opponents that he fought on WCW TV. Here's the hint. I actually know this. I actually know this. Oh Here's the hint. They were both in the Dungeon of Doom. We will give you. Four tries. I take that back. I don't know this. Ricky, anything? I didn't watch fucking WCW. <laughs> I know. If you, want, <laughs> if you want, I'll give you the list of, of members of the Dungeon of Doom. No, it's okay, because it's just so out there that anything would be a, a guess. So, uh, I mean, I don't even... Was it, How many Dungeon of Doom matches were there? A lot. I'll, I'll tell you who was in the Dungeon of Doom, and you and base. Okay, how about we do this? I'll list the members of the Dungeon of Doom, and you'll list the two guys that you think he wrestled. Okay. Okay. Taskmaster Kevin Sullivan, the Uganda Giant Kamala, the Shark, otherwise known as Earthquake, <laughs> the Zodiac, who was Brutus the Barber Beefcake. The Giant, otherwise known as Big Show, or Ming? I'm going to go with Kevin Sullivan and Ming. That's correct. Oh, wow. Oh. That's correct. You said Dungeon of Doom? What about the Yeti? Um, he didn't wrestle the Yeti. I can't believe I, I got the that, Yeti. Right? I just named six guys. Right, hit, go oh. on, hit me with more. I'll just knock them out of the park. <laughs> Are you on freaking Wikipedia? Like I don't, I don't believe that he got that one right. All right, well let let's see hey, if he gets this, this one He's right. Like, I asked such a ridiculously hard question. I can't believe he just pulled two, two out of out of his ass. <laughs> see what I'm saying? See what I was talking about pre show about like how ridiculously hard this question was. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right, let's see if you can get this one, Clive. Okay. So Edge debuted on Raw. On June twenty second, nineteen ninety eight, who did he defeat? I'm gonna give you multiple choice. So it's either Savio Vega. That's the answer. Are you, you sure? I'm going to stick with it. All right. You don't want you what? I, I know. I know the because that's not correct. <laughs> oh no! Why would correct. you? Why? Why would you? For the two <laughs> fucking I know. options. Because I would have picked <laughs> Savio Vega anyway. Because. <laughs> I would have uh, the correct the correct answer is Jose Estrada Jr. Nope, that you, was my pick. We're gonna give you all four members of Los Bariquas, but you just you picked Savio Vega immediately. <laughs> <laughs> but who the fuck is Jose Estrada Jr.? See, I was go- I, I, I was going I, to I say I actually knew that one. I was going to say Savio Los Vega Bariquas. before you said anyway, so I would have got that, it wrong. Look, that man's a legend, James. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Russo. Gang yeah. warfare. Edge was the very last WCW US champion before the title was unified with the IC title at Survivor Series 2001. How many days was his reign? <laughs> as well as the unified champ or the No, they 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 got rid of it once they unified it. So after he won it, how long was his reign? The US title. US title. This seems very do you want multiple choice? Okay. I 30 think... days, 20 days, 6 days, or 14 days? 14. It was 6 days. 
Okay, next one. We're still doing right. well, Ricky. We're doing well. Yeah, man, let's go. So, last, oh. last edge question. Who did an edge face in the 2001 King of the Ring tournament? And I got multiple choice for you. Can you, the can option, you say that again? Who did he not face? Not face, right? All right. So, it's either Perry Saturn, Christian, Rhino, or Kurt Angle. Right. Are we okay with Perry Saturn, Ricky? No, 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 we're not, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> because remember the earlier answer, was it not an edge question where he faced Kurt Angle in the final and Kurt faced Christian in the other semi-final, so Edge wouldn't have faced him at all then? So it would, it would have been Christian that he didn't it would face? Be Christian. Okay. That's correct, correct. correct. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for Ricky. Bro, Ricky's face right then. We're not. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's so disgusted. <laughs> he's, he just looks so disgusted. He's like, come on, dude. You don't freeze <laughs> butter, bro. I think he's so pissed about that Savio Omega question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. Why wouldn't you hear the options? Because I would have said Savio Vega without the options anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Are you guys ready for the hardcore tile questions? Yes. Okay. In the entire history of the hardcore title, how many different belt models were there? Was there one belt model, two belt models, three, or four? Um. I'm going to just say two purely because I think it was retired twice. So I'm assuming when they brought it back a second time, they changed the title. Well, just to speak specifically, we're talking about the look of the belt. How many different looks did the belt have? Oh, fuck it, two. (laughs) That's your final answer? Yep. There were three. There was the original belt. There was the Texas belt that Bradshaw introduced, and then there was the New York belt that Tommy Dreamer introduced, which was a license plate. Yeah. No, well, at least I waited for all the options before I answered it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, next question. Who had a 15-second hardcore title reign? And I have multiple choice for you. It's either... Pat Patterson, Godfather's Ho, Gerald Briscoe, or Terry Runnels? Hey, it wasn't Briscoe. It has to be one of the women, surely, because it must have. That's sexist. We'll go. What? That's sexist. Where are you going with? I'll go with Terry Runnels. Final answer? Yes. That is incorrect. Oh. It is Godfather's Ho had a 15 second title reign. Fuck. <laughs> Terry Reynolds actually had the shortest title reign with nine seconds. We were going to ask that question, but James offered that information earlier in the middle of. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said it was like 10 seconds. That's what I said. Light 10 seconds is the same thing as asking who had the shortest reign. Hey. It, my bad. Okay. I, I'm sorry. How many people have ever held both the WWF hardcore title as well as the WCW hardcore title? Five people, two people, one person, or it's never happened. Uh, I know Big Show held whether he held at WCW. I don't know. I didn't watch fucking WCW. <laughs> <laughs> Clive, I'm going to like I watch that bullshit. Like they, 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 they beat me out there. I'm going to hazard a guess. If you if you can guess who the people are, I will tell you whether or not they held it. But Ricky, I think unless what's his name, unless Teddy Funk held the title in WWF, I think the answer is no one. 
because I remember Terry Funk was in a hardcore title match where a horse fucking kicked him in the arm. <laughs> that did happen. Surely Funk would have won it. Uh, mm, no, he wasn't wrestling. I don't know. I don't care. Night night, guys. <laughs> I mean, was it? still fucking wrestling. Um, alright. Um, what did you say? Said no one. Final answer. Um, yes. Okay, there was actually two people. I'm sorry. Uh, one was Shane Helms, otherwise known as the Hurricane. Oh, shite. The other one was Johnny the Bull, all, also known as Johnny Stromboli. No. Fuck. Okay, right, we need... To... Ain't nobody watching no 2000 WCW, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I have we have one more hardcore question. So, who awarded Al Snow the hardcore title immediately after winning it on September of 1999? They won it and then gave it to Al Snow immediately. It was a pretty famous moment. David Boy Smith? Correct. Yes. Oh, yes, Ricky. Do you know what you've just done? You've given us 11 points in that round, so we are in the oh, lead. They're in the oh, they're Wow, we're losing. How about you just how about you just let me answer every question from now on? <laughs> so I'll just ignore that. So the first round nine points to Creeping It Strong Style, ten points to One Nation Radio, and eleven points to Rickett and Clive. The next round is a Who Am I? where it's the same format where the team one team takes a turn at asking questions and it's open to the other two teams to answer, so you have to think of your buzzer. Uh, I can steal. The Who Am I is basically, so I'm thinking of a wrestler and I give you three clues as to who that person is and you've got to, if you know who that person is, you buzz in with the answer. All right? How do we buzz? Just interrupt each other? No, you have to say a catchphrase. So my buzzer is, oh, it's true, it's damn true. Ricky, what's yours? I spit in the faces of people who don't want to be cool. Jeremy? Might be tranquilo. <laughs> right. Josh? Mine will be Inoki Bombaye. Right, uh, Rich? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, James, what's yours? You can say no if you want. Any- Give me a hell yeah. Right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> right. You're going you're gonna to have to give... If someone gets it on the first clue, you're going to have to give them three points and then work down. Okay. You all right? Are you all okay think, with I that? Think, I think okay. that's probably yep. better. So if they get on the first clue, three points. Yep. Right, so should the winners or losers of the last round go first? Just do it. Make them bomb start first. We'll start first. Right, okay. Keep it strong. <laughs> right. Style guys, on you go. Okay, just to be clear, this is One Nation Radio against Ricky and Clive at this point. Yes, and you've got to you buzz have to in. buzz in with your catchphrase in order to answer the question. So I'll go first. And are we giving them the category? Yes. Everything that we're doing is New Japan based. Shit. So these people are. Don't be asking about no Anokiism shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this. Who am I? I held. Two different WWF titles, but I'm from New Japan. WWF? Yep. Do you need the next clue? We do. I mean, yeah. I I have an idea for one, but... I I competed in the longest New Japan Pro Wrestling match ever in history. Does that include? uh, Does that include the Rumble? Yep. Okay. You guys want the final clue? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm a WWE Hall of Famer. Fuck it! Fuck it! I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. Okay. This is the only Japanese wrestler I know. Takuma Chinoko? <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> that is that. Incorrect. <laughs> yes. I will take one. I'll take a shot. Tatsumi Fujinami. It's not. Fuck. Uh, oh, it's true. It's damn true. Why? In okay. It is. Yes. 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 So it's just one point there, not two or three. I picked Anoki. <laughs> Hey, I, I thought you were I thought you were going for Hogan at first. Oh my god. Okay. Like not like yeah, you know, I wrestled Muhammad Ali. Like, nah, we're gonna give obscure shit. Alright, gotcha. Cool. It's supposed right, to be like, there's a pretty W all famers. Alright, time for the second person. So the first clue. I am a former MLW heavyweight champion. <laughs> Former MLW Major League Wrestling, former MLW Heavyweight Champion. Y'all would know if you watch our show. <laughs> Got into second clue? Mm hmm. Sure. All right, second clue. I was a part of a tag team that won the Wrestling Observer um, Tag Team of the Year in 2001. Next clue. Last clue. Okay. Last clue. I am the founder of the Bread Club. Oh, yes. Rich? Satoshi Kojima. Correct. Yes. Good job. Bread Club for life. So the, the, we are tied one to one. Okay, who am I? I won the Tokyo Sports Best Foreigner Award in 1983. Oh, my God. You guys need the next clue? Please. One more. I never won a title in New Japan, but I did win the IWGP tournament. Yes. Oh, shit. Rich? Hulk Hogan. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Was that the same? So that's like, two, points. Was, two points. Like, once you said 83 and 4, and I was thinking, like, is he thinking, like, Stan Hansen or, like, or is he talking about, like, Bruiser Brody? And, like, no, nah, it's Hogan. That's funny. The last clue was going to be that my finisher was the Axe Boomba Ichiban. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, so I, I make sure that's two points right there. Yeah, I've got that two. That is two points. Yeah. All right. And now for the final person. First clue. I have a Greco-Roman background. Okay. Second clue. I won Tokyo Sports Best Tag Team in 2007. <laughs> the last clue. I stole my catchphrase from Rob Van Dam. Well, actually, more more of a taunt, a taunt than a catchphrase. It is his catchphrase. Yes. <sighs> Go for it, Rich. Toriano. Correct. Yes, correct. Toru. Yeah. yeah. No. no. Four points there, Rich. Well done. Are y'all proud of yourselves? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> right, Rich, Rich and James, do you want to go yeah. and then uh, kiss on yourselves will answer these ones? Sure thing. James, you want to go first? Uh, okay. I'm coming up with these on the fly now. Oh, okay. I'll go first. And if you want. Uh, I'm just waiting for my document to pull. There we go. All righty. I am a former WCW United States champion. I spent one year in WWE during the early 2000s before leaving. I successfully answered the Theodore Long five minute white boy challenge. <laughs> I don't keep Bombay. <laughs> I know keep Bombay. Josh? Bill Goldberg. Correct. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> I almost I was about to answer just like on the fly and say like Dusty Rose. <laughs> 
So, no. So do you remember who was wrestling? Uh, it was wrestling for Theodore Long inside of the Theodore Long Five Minute White Boy Challenge. You remember who it yes. was? Rodney Mack. Mack. Yep. Rodney yes, the fucking mug of Rodney Mack. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Red Bone. The Red Bone. It's so stupid. Red Dog. Yeah, Red Dog. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. I want the, the next person. I once held up Vince McMahon for hundreds of thousands of dollars to lose my final match in WWE. <laughs> I know, keep on by. Oh uh, no! Who do you got? Jeff Jarrett. You are correct, sir. <laughs> yes, three points. Three points. <laughs> There's only like three guys it could be. I was just like, let's just do it. Oh my gosh. Oh the, my the, gosh. the other two clues are going to be like, I'm a WWE Hall of Famer, and then I regularly pit WCW and WWE against each other for my services in the 1990s. <laughs> it it, it could have either been Nails, Ultimate Warrior, or Jeff Jarrett. So. Yep. All right, that's that's who I got. You got some, James? Yeah, I got one. <laughs> I debuted in 1998. Okay. okay, next clue. Keep going. I'm a former WWF champion. Inoki Bombay. Go ahead. The Rock. Nah. Oh my God, that's, that's wrong. wrong. That was awful. I said debuted in or no. You should get no. a point off for that. Sorry, guys. Yeah. He <laughs> debuted two years earlier than that. I know. I'm dumb. All right. Um, do I continue or do y'all want yeah, to copy yeah, yeah. with last, another? Last clue. I there's something going on my mouth. Sorry about that. <laughs> I won the WWF championship in October I'm sorry, in oh, I'm blanking on the date right now. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll go to something else. Um I think what else can I go with? Hmm. <laughs> I wrestled Triple H at WrestleMania 15. <sighs> oh, fuck. You don't remember? No. How could I not know? Uh, Tranquilo. Yeah, go ahead. Kane. Yes. Well done. Oh, fucking wow. Do you have another one at all, James? Yes. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. Let's see. I debuted to an American audience at WCW in 1996. Next clue. I am a former WCW Intercontinental Champion. I'm sorry, uh, Cruiserweight Champion. Sorry about that. WCW Cruiserweight Champion. I know Kibamba. Ray, Ray, Myster- Ray Mysterio Jr. Correct. That's two points. Oh, booyaka, shit. booyaka, six, six one, one, nine. <laughs> shit, I thought he was going to swerve him and be like Jericho. <laughs> <Wrong>. <laughs> that's, that's what you should have did. Right, Ricky, it's our turn. We didn't do well there at all. Oh, uh, we didn't. You need to step up. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh uh, right, do you want to go first with your Who Am I? <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am a one time Evolve champion. I was a participant in the 2016. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fabian Eichner. No. 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 I know so Kibamba. Okay. Okay. So okay. I know Kibamba. Ki- Ki- and you go? Drew Galloway. Nope. Okay. Uh, I, have, I haven't even finished the second clue. How about this? Let him finish the question, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So it was 
I was a participant in the 2016 Cruiserweight Classic. Oh, uh, Tranquilo. Oh, God damn it! Johnny Gargano. Nope. Oh. I, re- I hope I got the rear right, gear right, but I'm pretty sure. Can, can, can I jump back in? Can, can I jump back in? Uh, Clive, yeah, I think you can. If, if everyone else is okay with it, I am as well. Yeah, I'm okay yeah, with go, it. go for it. Well, then again, that will help me, but yeah. Of course you're okay with it, James. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I will take Tony Nice. Nope. So, Fuck. will I give the third, third and final clue? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I am a winner of the New Japan Cup. Oh, uh, oh, hell oh, yeah. Tranquilo. That was James first. Zach Sabre Jr. Correct. Damn it. Is that still question one? Yeah. Okay. Damn, that was good, Ricky. <laughs> Number two. I am a former IWGP heavyweight champion. I had a brief run with TNA in 2009. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yep. Yep. Okada. Nope. I know I people. Emphasize- about- okay. Yep. Tetsuya Naito. Correct. Yes. yes. Tranquilo. Two points. I've been swerved. Swerved. Right, my turn. Whoa, 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 quick question. What was the third clue for that one? Uh, I am a former winner of the junior tag and heavyweight tag titles. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. It'd been nice had had you actually just saying like, oh yeah, Okada, because he did that too. I've been (laughs) fucked. Jesus, I was fucked. (laughs) My first one. I am a two-time NWA Worlds champion. Oh, God. (laughs) Thanks, Caleb. Fuck you, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Caleb. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Anyone want to guess? Caleb is a soy boy. Next, no, next clue. Next clue. I worked in TNA. I know Key Bombay. Josh. Nick Aldis. Ah, so close. No. Correct. No. Yes. Yes. Wait, we count. We, are we counting those reigns? You said you said two-time NWA champion. You worked in TNA. I said yes. Hey, your turn. Okay, Jeff Jarrett. No, that's not who I've got. Now he held it Fuck. like six times. All right, third clue. I worked with Jeff Jarrett in another promotion. I still would have said Nick Aldis. Yeah. <laughs> Two times in the completely changing question. I don't know. Yes. That's... You can't. You... Yeah, yeah, we, we oh. said anything. Oh, you can? Yeah. Stop hating. <laughs> Christian? Correct answer. Ah, oh, oh, damn it! I told you. <laughs> no, I know that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that. You know. Can... Brian, you do know that if, like, I did not see, can see your your camera thing, I would assume that, like, Caleb has taken over over there, right? <laughs> Christian, the TNA, and all this other shit, and the NWA title, and all this other shit. What's going on over there? <laughs> We've been hacked. Well, we're both ginger, so there is that. <laughs> uh, I was trying to, I was hoping someone would say Nick Aldis to sort of throw the, throw the scent off a wee bit. You definitely threw it off. I would have still guessed Nick Aldis. Even with the third hint, I would have guessed Nick Aldis. Evil. Right, next one. Wait, wait, wait. Is this next question, is that first clue true? Yes. Are you ready for this? Fuck's sake. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, here come that bullshit. (laughs) Right. So, uh, in Ohio Valley Wrestling, I was a bodyguard to Muhammad Hassan, and my name was Osama. Just, just to help people out, it was not me. <laughs> <laughs> Next clue. Next clue. Uh, 
I was a general manager of the WWE version of ECW. So, like, 2006 version of ECW. Tranquilo. Okay. What? Was it Armando Alejandro Estrada? It certainly was. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, I would have got that wrong. Yo, hate it on me for one. Right, so that round is done. Let me just do some tallying. We got one in that one. I'm kidding right now. Right. <laughs> Hold on, J- Jer- Jeremy, you froze. Jeremy, you froze up. Were you saying you watched the ECW in two thousand six? Yeah, y'all, y'all were hating on that shit the other day. I was like, came in handy tonight. <laughs> just a minute ago, like Ricky's face of despair was hilarious. Right. Uh, so we got one point there, so we're up to twelve. Rich and James totaled one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're up to sixteen points. <laughs> Jeremy and Josh 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 points Jesus Jeez, they're in 19. Oh, yeah. You're in 19 points Right Put that belt down It's early days <laughs> Right it's, The next round is the... <laughs> what, what are you laughing at? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the next round is the anagram round. So it's the same format, but this time we do, we give an anagram. So it's jumbled up words of a pay per view wrestler finishing move, and the other guys have to pick. I am bursting for the toilet right now, so feel free to trash talk me. I'll keep recording. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't leave dead air. Okay, so so we're not going to edit this out. Like, this is live. It's going. It's happening. <laughs> oh, I can't uh, be bothered. Uh, apparently, well, across the pond, they don't, there's no such thing as, like, cut, <laughs> and, cut and delete and paste and drag. Yeah. Uh, fuck that. Like, like, Clyde about to, about, to, about to save this file and, you know, drop it in there and hit export, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ricky said, like, if they lose, he's about to, like, delete this shit. Delete this shit. <laughs> yeah. It will not be uploaded. <laughs> the, the last episode of Ricky and Clive. <laughs> Y'all see that video with uh, Enzo and Big Cass? No. I did not. They're reuniting. It's it's a feel-good story. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they didn't like each other. Or was that just a work? Or are, are they, like, got, you know, uh, I don't, water, water under the bridge now? I guess it's water they, under the they bridge. They bonded over her. One of them almost died, so, you know. They bonded over hard times. <laughs> they are both going through hard times, and I, you know what? If they showed up at, like, Tampa Bay Pro, I'd probably go see them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Enzo and Cass versus Troy Hollywood and Snoop Strikes. I'd go see Paying that. to see Enzo and Cass in I'd 2018. Put, I, I put my $7 no down for that. <laughs> Josh, get your fucking life together. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably something. Maybe I should have pressed pause if you were going to start talking about Enzo and Cass on here. <laughs> right. So, Can't trust us. <laughs> round three is the anagram round, and the bums of the previous round go first. So, Ricky and Cly- uh, Ricky and me, it's us next. Uh, I'll go first, Ricky, with the anagrams. And you Try not to sound so delighted with the current Are you guys going to put it in the group thread? Yes, I will. Okay, so the first one is an attitude, an attitude, oh, I can't say that. Attitude Era Wrestler. And the anagram is Nigeria Slight. It's been sent now to the group chat. So. An Attitude Era Wrestler. I suck at anagrams. Me too. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, He's from the Attitude Era. Yes. Chief. <laughs> uh, the would you like a clue? We need a clue. Yes. Their name was th- three different names put together. If that makes sense, so it was a three three named name. Well, a damn sure ain't Hunter Hearst Hemsley. 
<laughs> this person has three different names? Yes, like... Sort of like Big Van Vader. Three thing. names. Yeah, three names. Okay. Another clue? Yes, please. Yeah. One of the names in the three names is the name of a certain person who's been on SmackDown recently who's debuted. Oh, a tranquilo? Okay. Tiger Ollie thing. Nice one. Well done. Oh, thank God. Right. This is so hard. The My ne- brain doesn't work this way. The next one is it's another Attitude Era one, and it is a, a stable. And the stable, the drumbled word is cashed trial. I'm just sending it just now. What was the category again? Uh, Attitude Era Stable Faction. Why can I think of no factions? From the Attitude Era. It's not the Job Squad. (laughs) It's not DX. Do you want four? Uh, Do you want a clue? Yes. There were four of them. It's not the union. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the union. What the fuck is a union? Who was in it? Mankind, Test, Test. Shamrock, Test, and... Oh, God, I remember that. Big Show. Yep. Is, wait, is that from, like, literally, like, 99? 99. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. fighting. Oh, my like, God. Where did they get for, like, a week or something like that, or, like, a month? They're fighting the corporation. <laughs> Were they together for, like, a month? They carried around two by fours. Were they together for like a month? Yes or no? They, they were on WWF WrestleMania okay. on N- N64. Okay, let's continue with the thing because you don't you're being you. So never mind. <laughs> next question. We need a we need a clue. I don't know. Yeah, another, another yeah, yeah. Clue. Next, next hint. Two next of, hint. Two of them are no longer with us. Oh, oh shit! That's the entire attitude era. It's like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> People are dead in attitude era. Jesus. <laughs> Wait. Um. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, Anoki Okay. The radicals. Another point for yeah. the keeping it strong. Still going. Oh, I was thinking that, but I wasn't 100 percent sure. I didn't feel that was considered yeah. attitude era or not. Right, Ricky. Yeah, that's tough. That is Elvis Van. So I'll send into the group. What's the category? Categories. Oh, Val Venus. Oh, there, there we go. Oh. <laughs> you say you're, you hell yeah, song. James. I beat you too oh, much hell. anyway. But you gotta say, oh hell yeah. Okay, oh hell yeah, Val Venus. There you go. Good job. Proud of you. Thanks. So, this is a wrestler. Holt Zeus. This is WWF, right? Uh, no. No? Okay. Uh, I will. Need a clue. Who are you going to say, Clive? It's not... I'm not sure exactly if... Mm, well... Take... Yes and no. Well, he's never... He's, uh, yes and no. I don't... He's never won a title... In WWF. He passed away in 2002. I have no idea. I want to think of C's. I want to say, like, Zeus. (laughs) From No Holds Barred. (laughs) Wow. He, another one, he is in both the WCW and WWE Hall of Fame. Zeus. <laughs> I got it. Uh, yes. Okay, Rich. Yep. Luthez. Well done. Luthez. Oh, oh, God. Damn. Why, Why did you get it? 
I always forget that Luthez has no like I in his last name. Yep. There's Luthez. I can feel the towel slipping away from my palms. Right, who wants to go next? Uh, we can go next. We'll go. Okay. All right. So the first one, it is a name of a finishing move, and it's Balls Dane. B a l l s space d e i g n. It's in the it's in the group thread. Okay. Uh, Balls Dane. It's a finishing move. Does it actually have an apostrophe in it? In it? No. No. It, no ignore that. Okay. Great. <laughs> Make it more confusing. Now, the guys have done New Japan stuff, so I'm guessing this might be something. It's it's, it's all New Japan based. Yeah. Oh. It's a it's a current wrestler's finishing move. It's not it's not his finisher; it's his signature signature move. Well, it ain't, well, it ain't a switchblade. <sighs> Any more clues? Um. Uh, this person lost the IC title this year to Suzuki. Yes. Slingblade. Correct. Ah, oh, well done. All right. Uh, yeah. So the second word um, is grossly tent. Oh, my God. And this is like in kind of a, a saying that's used in New Japan. You've just put the answer yes. in. Oh, you put the answer in there. <laughs> I put the answer in the thread. All right, I'll I will do the the typing. I spit in the face if you don't want to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't give away a point for this one. All right, so find another one and I'll do I'll the next. do it. I'll do another one. You just All right, I'll do the <laughs> next three. All right, so this one is this is a name of a pay per view and I'm typing it in right now. A WWF pay per view? No, New Japan. Oh, uh, oh, oh it's true. It's true. Damn it! Sorry. I fucked it up. My bad. So who got that? Like I, I didn't actually put in my. But I, like I said, it's blurted it out without even yeah, like doing the buzzer. Without doing the buzzer deal. Sorry. I would give James a point. Oh, wait a minute, Ricky. You're, you're <laughs> getting on at me and then you're dishing points away. Because I've now got my feet up because I've collected 90% of our points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. Do you, Appreciate that, Chief. Do you remember uh, how well I did in the, the Edge segment? 90% my ass. Okay, so the next one is Hoss Reads. What is it? Haas reads, and he is on screen for New Japan. He's a non-wrestler. It's an on-screen non-wrestler. I spit in the face of people don't want to be cool. All right. Red shoes. Correct. Oh, Ricky, right. Ricky, uh, Ricky, uh, well done, mate. Best pals. Do we need my fourth one? Yep. Okay, sorry guys, hold on one second, I got it. Make sure it's actually the anagram and not the actual word. <laughs> it's the anagram, I swear to God. I'm just making sure. Okay. This one is two words. So it, <laughs> it is it's in the group thread, it's injurer soup. And what is it, though? What's the... It is a category <laughs> in New Japan. Ah, right, okay, right. Oh, oh, uh, uh what's my tag? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Games. <laughs> Super Junior. That's correct. Hell yeah. What's yeah my you see why I chose a nice short one like, yes? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Rich and James, you're up next. Awesome. Alrighty. Do you have four or do I have to come up with two? I have two. Or I have two. You have to come I up have with two. two. Or I have two. Okay, so you have two. <laughs> no, right, no, uh, I have the... I have two. You have right, to come up the... with two. Alright, what's the um can somebody shoot me a link to a uh, g- uh generator? 
It's in the, it's in the it's thread. It's in the thread. Scroll up. Okay. It's already there. All righty. I will begin. So the anagram is all north. Um, What's the this person? Name? Yeah, the this person is a wrestler in the Attitude Era. Okay. Um, oh, it's true. It's down to Owen Hart. Go ahead. Owen Hart. You got it. Mm. Oh, that was good. That was good. Good job, nice. Clive. All righty, I've got another one going in here. We suck at anagrams. Yeah. It is <laughs> Devil Ripper. Mm. And it is a wrestling move. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Go ahead. Pile driver. Mm. You got it. Ah. Uh, uh. It's like my brain wanted me to figure that one out, too. I couldn't figure it out. Nice. Awesome. Good job, Rich. Good job, Clive. Thank you. Keep points away from Josh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is so fucked up. Why is it only... <laughs> the real world title. My bell's bigger man, than yours. Look, man, Caleb is like the boogeyman, or sorry, like the candy man. If you say, keep saying, like, Worlds, NXT, <laughs> I'm sorry, Worlds, NWA, and, and whatever, it'll show up. Christian Cage. Oh, God. Yeah. All right, so, Mr. Anderson, my God. Oh, yes, okay, so, this is a wrestler. Uh, this, this is a wrestler, so uh, I'm going to type in it now. Aggie Horn Joan. <laughs> um, How many words is it? It's one. It's one name. First name, last name. I get home, John. Oh, oh, it's true. It's damn true. God, Johnny Gargano. Yes. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> okay. So now I have to come up with one. I thought I was gonna need more time, more time with that one, but okay. Um, compelling radio, guys. <laughs> compelling radio, sure. This, this segment is brought to you by PowerSlam TV. <laughs> Use the code <laughs> Social Suplex to get your free month of PowerSlam.tv now with over 4,000 hours of independent pro wrestling. It's 4,000? I've been telling people 13,000. I've been telling people 5,500. <laughs> it's, it's, now, it's now at 4,000. I'm sure it'll be at 5,000 next week. They just added a bunch of stuff on there. Yo, and then once your month is up... It's James is not fucking lying. You, guess who just messaged me? Who? Caleb. <laughs> oh my god! Like Tell Caleb movie, that man. if he signs up using our code social <laughs> suit, <laughs> it's, he gets a first month free, and then after that, it's only four ninety nine a month to get all I'm, I'm the. Amenities. I'm sure there's at least one NWA title match somewhere on there. I'm sure that oh, like, people spend more like, for Starbucks than that. Exactly. Look, y'all ain't got five dollars. Y'all broke. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got. Speaking, speaking of subscriptions, Rich, I signed up for a WWN, uh, WWN club today. Man, they ain't paying us. Don't don't even say that. Oh wow! This man's been, watching, this man's been watching Evolve all day. Rich, I watched. Uh, I, I, I watched back FIP to see us cranking with AR Fox in the front row. Oh, you did. Yeah, <laughs> you did. That's funny. Yeah, in the front row, cranking with AR Fox. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah, man, that show was great. Air Fox, sorry, man. Air Fox is hard. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm all about Joe Hendry. I don't know his name. <laughs> Michael Hendry. <laughs> Joe Hendry's a, the, the British guy from TNA. Okay, guys, I'm ready. Okay, all right, all right. All right so, Aries Kane. 
Another wrestler. It's true. It's damn true. Go ahead. Kairi Sane. Uh, we, I, what? Yes. Did the Tranquilo not come in first? Yeah, the Tranquilo. Oh. No, we were you lagged apparently. Uh, All right, so hold on, y'all buy some more time. I'll find. I'll come with another one. Okay. No, that's okay. Just give no, the point. Give, give it to Clive. Yeah, we need the points. We need the point. Okay then. Well, I was gonna say we got it really early though. <laughs> uh, right. So I'm sure it won't. Well, we'll see what if if it comes down to one point between us, we'll figure out some sort of something. Uh, right. After that, Ricky and Clive got one, two, three, five points, so we are now up to 17. One Nation Radio also got five points, they're up to 21, and they are tied at 21, 21. with keeping it strong style, so you are both on 21 points. This is it. How many points did we get? Like two? Two. Oh my god. So, we've got to do some work. The next round is called. It's the same format, each team asks and the other two teams have to answer and it's Michael Cole's stats hour, so random stats like <laughs> <laughs> Oh it's just random stats about who who won the title so many times in this year and all that stuff, so Yo, y'all can't see it but on the group thread, Rich just holding up a big picture of the like freaking big gold belt for no reason. <laughs> This is the real belt. Yeah, you be you be sure to take that to uh into the Hall of Fame ceremony um come come April, okay? Yo, Rick right Flair said the, Rick Flair said the same thing until he won the Royal Rumble, and then he said, "This is the greatest accomplishment of my life." You know why he said that, Jim Heard, <laughs> with a tear in my eye. All right, random Michael Cole stats. So, how are we running it? Uh, Rich and James, do you want to go first with this one? Sure thing. Okay, so I was supposed to come up with two things, right? Yeah, right. Got okay, it. so so maybe I should go last so I can come up with two things. All right, all right, we'll go second. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so, so wait, James. Okay, so you guys are going first. Ricky and Clive are going first. Right, we'll go first then. Ricky and Clive going first. So James, Just take James' time. The last, the last round, James is NXT. If you're wanting to think of stuff for that as well, just anything NXT. Okay. Right. Um, first question: How many TLC matches have there been? Oh shit! Does that include yeah, actually think... going up the ladder to go pull something down, or does that include like, like Shield, like Shield's debut match where it's like a pinfall ends it? Yeah, they're all, all of them are included. Oh, yeah. Inoki Bombay. Josh, Josh, twenty-three. You, oh, you, uh, you must be cheating. Fuck sake. That's Am I correct. right? Uh huh. Yep. Oh my yeah. god! I never would have guessed. Uh, I, my guess was twenty-seven. I never would have guessed it in a million. I'd be like, it could have been fifty. It could have been like twenty-five. For all I know. I feel like I'm in SCU and my name is freaking Scorpio Sky because I'm so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, number two. How many competitors from the Cruiserweight Classic are currently in 205 Live? Wait. So. Like, how many people from. We came up with this a couple of days ago. Are you including Mustafa Ali in that? So you might need to change. I am going to include him because we don't really know what's happening with that. I know Key Bombay. Okay, Josh. Eight. Incorrect. Okay. I can't believe there's been 23 TLC matches. That's crazy. I know. Yes. Rich? 11. Incorrect. Fuck. But Brian made a face like it was close. I so. know. I just had I had bad wind. <laughs> That's all that was. I had some gas. <coughs> Okay, Jeremy, do you want to have a guess? Yeah, Tranquilo. Uh, nine? Incorrect. Oh! James? Yeah, 12. I'll just throw out a guess. Oh, correct answer. Correct. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
Right, Ricky. Right. <clears throat> How many people have held the current cruiserweight title? How many title holders have there been? The current version. I know Kibambae. Yep. Seven. Incorrect. Tranquilo? Yep. Six? Incorrect. Oh my yes. god, we suck. Yes. Rich? Eight. Incorrect. <laughs> oh hell yeah! James? Yep. No! Oh for fuck's sake. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep it, fuck, sweep it off the mess. <laughs> yo, yeah, yo, yo. Crap, yeah. This is the quiz equivalent of just sitting underneath the ring while everyone else is in a Royal Rumble and then <laughs> jumping out at the end and dumping the last guy out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, right, Ricky, last question. Who has the shortest IWGP title reign in history? Mm. I'm looking at you for that one. Shit. Oh, stumped on a <laughs> New Japan one. The shortest IWGB title reign ever in history. Or was it Junior, you said? The IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, yeah. Um. Mm. Got another clue? Fuck. <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck he is. Um... <laughs> Should we? I'll take a. I'll take a guess. I know Kibambae. Yep. Manabu Nakanishi. Nope. <sighs> he held the WCW United States Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Ooh. Um. <coughs> yes. Yep. Masahiro Chono. No. Nope. Fuck. We have another clue. He has held the. Where is it? The IWGP Tag Team Championship. Yes. Tranquilo. 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 That's who it is. Tenzon. Say that again? Tenzon. No. No. Yes. Yes. Tensuke Sasaki. Correct. Oh, oh yeah. fucking draws. <laughs> 16 days, apparently. Sasuke had a 16 day reign? Uh, I remember he wrestled Sting. He did. That's right. Damn. God. <laughs> right. Um. Keeping it strong still, guys. All right. <laughs> hey, guys. These are all New Japan-based questions. Bring them. Right. <coughs> Bring them. This wrestler has held the most IWGP junior title reigns with 11 reigns. Yes. Jushin Thunder Liger. Correct. Correct. Mm. I was about to be like, is it? Uh, I didn't know that, but I was going to be like, is it the, like, do all the Tiger Masks count as one person? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, this wrestler was the first ever IWGP Intercontinental Champion. Yes. Rich? MVP. Damn. Correct. Fuck. Oh, we're losing so bad. See, y'all, you know where y'all fucked up? Y'all can't answer no New Japan questions. We can. <laughs> this wrestler has the most G1 Climax victor- victories in history with five. Ooh. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Clive? So the, the most G1 victories, did you say? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they won the tournament five times. Oh, the tournament? Oh, fuck, I don't have a clue. Oh, um... Pass. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. James? Tanahashi? No. No. He no. had three times, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, excuse me, uh, yes. Rich? <laughs> um, what the fuck is his name? <laughs> <laughs> um... Masahiro Chono. That's right. correct. <laughs> yep. Sick. Damn it. All right, last one. This wrestler is the youngest IWGP champion in history. Yes. Rich. Shinsuke Nakamura. Damn right. it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How about how you love that? <laughs> <laughs> this fool. <laughs> Right, uh, um, Rich and James. James, are you sorted now? Uh, go ahead, Rich. Okay. Who was number fifty at the Greatest Royal Rumble? I think he was. Chris Jericho. Uh, Josh, you got it. Uh, um, Jinder Mahal was the number what W or WWE champion? Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Go ahead, Brian. Oh, I might kick myself. 49? No. Well, that's what I was going to say. Thank God. I know Kibambae? Yeah. 53rd? No, sir. I have no clue. I'm just guessing. Tranquilo. Go ahead, Jeremy. Is it 63rd? No. I don't think any of us know this. Have you got anything, Ricky? What's the question? I zoned out, sorry. It was Jinder Mahal was what number WWE champion? Oh my god, I know this answer. Can I I'm answer when you're done? When they, when they get when they don't answer it? Four. The faces of people who don't want to be cool. Five, Five. zero. You got it. Yes. He was the 50th? Mm. Yep. Oh, my that's God. What made it, that's what pissed us people off even more. It's like, wait, <laughs> the 50th, 50th champion, champion ever? Champion. Good job, guys. James? Hello? James, I, had, I had it on mute. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Who is the second ever five-time WWF champion? I know Kibambe. Go ahead. Bret Hart. Correct. <sighs> Look at the deliberation on James' face. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really, literally just pulling these off, off the dome now. Um... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 This episode will future be brought to you by Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you thought that last quest, uh, quiz question was hard, wait till you try oh, Blue Chew. Yes. <laughs> okay, I got one. From, this is for NXT. <laughs> Who has the most NXT? Brooklyn takeover matches. I know Kibambae. Go ahead. Johnny Gargano. Correct. Uh, Just keep in mind, you still have to come up with two more NXT questions for this last round. Yep. Mm. Right, so... Oh, wait, wait. So I was supposed to ask all NXT questions? No. No, for the next round. Oh, okay. All right. This one's WWE. Damn thing. All right, uh... So you're good. That's us. For now. All right. Right, so we got one in that round. We're at 18. It's not looking good for us, Ricky. Cancel it. Cancel the podcast. <laughs> Stop recording. <laughs> Let's just go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy and Josh have got 25. And after a devastating round by Rich, uh, they're up to 28 points with seven in that round oh alone. Oh, God. Damn. You, you know what fun. happened? Did you- we need you guys to play spoiler. Yeah. What, what happened was keeping it strong style fucked up. 
with the new Japan questions because we don't know anything when it comes to Japan. Yeah, we did. We, that was a that's bad. For, that's for rich. Hey, no, yeah. well, no. What's really happening is also like along with the new Japan thing, you're also getting your ass kicked by like these callbacks at WCW every so often. You're just like, yo, like they're just getting hit over the head and beaten. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. We just thought like you know we'd promote our show because we cover New Japan every <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> They, so this was all a swerve. It was all work. <laughs> you uh, can catch us on the Social Suplex Podcasting <laughs> Network every Tuesday morning. <laughs> uh, last round is NXT. Any question at all to do with NXT? Same format. Um, Ricky, we are out of this, so but we'll still play, we'll play along, will we? Like the good sports that we are. <laughs> <been> eliminated, deleted, <laughs> mathematically eliminated from the G one. I mean, we could still come second on our own show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but keep playing along, guys. Of course, um, right? Will we leave James to last again, James's team, so we can think of a couple of NXT ones? All right, sure. You go first? Right, you go first then, kiss. Okay. Who was the winner of NXT Season 2? Nobody knows. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, because there's a gigantic difference between, like, Green Network and actually... Not real NXT. Oh, it's NXT. I just yeah, went face of, you know, they're wrestling they're wrestling Ricky, the damn Ricky, Ricky, Ricky's, Ricky's trying to answer I don't know the name Clive he was bald <laughs> he was bald you're, you're, you're on the right track Ricky right okay but <sighs> we will take either name his indie name or his WWE name oh shit yes you know, Rich Wait, are you guys going to answer or no? Wait, what? What'd you say, Rich? Cesaro? No. No. Well, I don't fucking know. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Okay. He's, he's a former Ring of Honor world champion. And he's bald-headed? Yes. And he won NXT 2. And he won NXT Season 2. He was cut from the company three months later. Oh, I spit in the face of who don't want to be cool. Low key. Ricky? Yes. Well it done. was low key. Caval. Yeah. Jesus. He can't save us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next question. What Attitude Era tag team challenged for the NXT tag titles at NXT oh, it's true. Arrival? It's yes. Oh, true. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. All right, One Nation. You want to do it? I mean, oh, you right. uh, either way, too uh, too cool. Correct. Yeah. That's correct. <sighs> Who was the youngest NXT men title winner in history? Yes, Rich. Bo Dallas. Correct. That's correct. All right. Last question from us. Look, that that youngest ever shit doesn't really like. Doesn't merely mean like it translates or translates to greatness when it comes to that Bo Dallas one. Because woof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question: Who challenged Adrian Neville in the main event of NXT Takeover? Oh, Which one? Oh shit! Takeover is the second one. Yeah, that's what it was called, NXT Takeover. Yeah, the oh, first one. Yes. Is a... yes. Yes. Rich. Tyson Kidd. Correct. That's correct. Mm. My God. Uh. Okay. Right, we gotta. We gotta. We gotta like fuck it up. Yeah. We gotta. Earl, Earl Turn, Ricky, do you want to yeah. go first? No, uh, you can go first. Uh, oh, where is it? Where's it going? What was the middle of the card non-title match at Takeover the End? Wait, One more time. But, so it was. It was a Mid-quarter. match in the middle of the card. Yes. Rich? Wait. I don't... Uh, I never heard... I, I know it. Right. I know he's... Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Austin Aries. Yeah, that's right. Is that... 
That is it. I was going to say that. But I didn't understand the question. Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, I'll try. Matt at Rich. Right, in NXT, three of the four horsewomen held the NXT title, right? Yeah. From shortest to longest, name them, the reigns. I know Kibamba. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was Josh. Okay. Oh my god! He didn't actually know. He just wants to just. He wants to answer. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me answer. You've got three seconds. Three, two. Bailey. And. and uh, am I wrong? Am I already wrong? Uh, J- James. Yeah. James was the next to buzz in. So James. Wait, we're start- we're starting from longest to shortest, right? Shortest to longest. Oh, I. My bad. I. Fuck. Okay, go ahead. Shortest to longest? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought you said longest. Charlotte shortest. Bailey. What was the, what did you say? He says Sa- slash is Charlotte Bailey. Incorrect. Oh, fuck. You got it, James? Nah, you go ahead and take it. So you said it was shortest to longest? Yep. Yeah. Charlotte. Ba- Bailey, Sasha, Charlotte. Nope. That's right. Tranquilo. Jeremy. It's... So it's Sasha. It's Charlotte Sasha Bailey. No, oh James. God. I'm just trying to face people don't oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We need the fucking voice. Wait, you're not even on your way. Yeah, you, you can't answer this. Oh, okay. I'm about to say. All right. So, from shortest to longest, it would be uh, Sasha, uh, Bailey, and Charlotte. Yes. Oh Damn. my god. It felt like Bailey had the title forever, it felt like. Sasha. No, what happened was she had that belt and then she like she I mean, whatever. Like she had the belt but like nobody else was there. Mm. Yeah. Damn it. Sasha. And that was only Rain as opposed to Charlotte who you know, whatever. Whatever. My bad, bro. We needed that. It's alright. I didn't know it either. <laughs> Sasha one nine two, so, Bailey two two three, Charlotte two five eight. Just to clarify the takeover with Neville versus Tyson Kidd. That was, was that the first ever takeover? Yeah, no, that was the second no, one. No. Second, second one, second. but the first right. one to be called takeover. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, okay. Like the first one is called Arrival, and that's like the one that has um the, the latter match between Neville and Bo Dallas, and also has like uh Sami Zayn versus uh, Cesaro. I think that's number three, or was that two or three? Number one. <laughs> No, no, no. That no, was our like that was our second third or third match. matchup. Yeah. Oh, it's like the third match. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, including arrival, how many takeovers have there been? Shit. Mm. Shit. Not counting the one in Arizona, the one coming up. Not counting. Okay. W- ones that have already taken place. Yes, including arrival. I know Key Bombay. Yep. Twenty-four. Some correct. Yes. Yep. Twenty-one. Incorrect. <laughs> Tranquilo. What? Yep. Nineteen. Incorrect. James sweeps up again at the last. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna get this one right. Oh um, uh, yes. Yep. Oh, fuck. If you don't got it, I got it. No, go ahead. I will go with 22. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> no one gets the point. This man trying to stop us from getting points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, 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 I'll, I'll throw out 17. Nope. All right, so what's the number? 23. Oh, I was going to say that. Point. I was gonna well, say that, but I was like, "There's no way there's been 23 TLCs and 23 takeovers." That just sounds crazy. <laughs> okay, so so hold on, real quick. Okay, so the last two years we've had five, or each year, right? You know how how I kind of knew like the range is that because you guys did a show for like the 20th takeover. That's right. But I wasn't uh, sure how how far ago that was. That was just before was the that? Chicago two, I think. Yeah. Man. 
real listener, real fan out here, Rich Slatter. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> Ricky and Claude Mark. <laughs> right. So I'm guessing this. So I'm guessing this podcast happened like right, like leading into Chicago too. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Ah, gotcha. Okay. Two things we've just learned: Rich is a Ricky and Clive Mark. Meanwhile, James is not. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't. I, I've had that conversation with them before, or with uh, with keeping a strong style, like. I come in and I cherry, I come in every so often. I'm like, yeah, all right, let me. Um, I'm not like, oh, like let me see what they're doing right now. That's what it comes down to. Isn't like is, and I don't, you know. And if y'all listen my, to our show, like I don't take offense because like there's a lot of content out there, and I'm just like trying to get to all of it. And then like I don't just watch wrestling. I also watch, you know, real sports. So- I mean, I've been, I've been listening to your guys' show, but I'm about to stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I won't take offense. We're still friends. We all talk every day. But the, the people listen to this show, you continue listening, though, right? <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all listen to this. Yeah, yeah, if y'all want to hear the champions, you know, listen to One Nation Radio. Oh, oh God. Right, Ricky, hurry up. Oh, Put us out of our misery. Question number four. How many former NXT champions have went on to win a version or any version of the WWE title on the main oh. roster? Including including the two oh five. I'm sorry, yes, before that's... anyone answers, please please repeat the question. So how many former NXT champions have went on to the main roster, including two oh five live, and have won a version of the world title? So that, like the main so that that include women's but, titles. No, no, just male. Just men. So and whether this is it's former NXT champions? Yes. So you mean the main brand title? Right. Yeah, so it could be like the Universal or it could be the WWE title or whatever piece of crap it was before the Universal. And they, and they had to be NXT champ- yes. champions? Yes. Yes. And it's inc- uh, in- yes. including the Cruiser title as well. Rich yep. wants to answer. Yes. Got it. Okay. Four. Correct. Fuck. I was going to answer. Yeah. I can't remember my catchphrase. So what is Daniel Bryan, Seth, and who else? Daniel no, Bryan never held the NXT title. Yeah, is Seth? Seth, 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 Neville, Neville, Owens, Neville, Owens. And the final one is he held it Seth, for Neville. less. He held it for less than twenty-four hours. Uh, shit! What's his name? Uh, Finn Balor. Yes. Ah, yeah. I knew the answer to this, but I just couldn't. Right, so um, I forgot that Daniel Brown was jobbed out in NXT. My bad. <laughs> right, Rich and James, it's your turn to quiz us. Alrighty. Um, the who did Andrade Cien Almas make his takeover debut against? Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Go ahead, Ty Dillinger. Got it. God. Who did Who did Austin Aries have his first NXT TakeOver match against? Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Constable yeah. Corbin. You got it. I knew that one. I was gonna... Can we get a tally real quick? <laughs> a tally of what exactly? It's already over. Like, like, how, how many points are left? Like, we just yeah. lost those two questions for sure. Yeah, there's only two questions left. Yeah. Yeah. No, so there's still, there's still six. We need the official right. score. We need the official score. I, I, I just want to make sure that like, that, like Ricky and Clive can't like all of a sudden swoop in with a six pointer. No, it's uh, <laughs> Ricky and Clive are dead. How uh, many points behind? We've only so far we've only got twenty. Jeremy and Josh have twenty five, and you guys have thirty four. Okay. That's open. Okay. So, um. Even if we won all six, we, we're only 32, so we're done. Oh, okay, so let, let's just finish it. Oh, like, so we do like a baseball game, and then basically, like, we just get the bottom of the inning, or do y'all watch one of these questions? Finish, just finish them out. Just finish them oh, out. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, okay, we'll do that. All right, um, since, it's, since, you know, whatever. Who did Shinsuke Nakamura uh, wrestle in his debut match in NXT? I, I know Kibaba A. I heard, I, yep, I, Josh. <sighs> Okay. Got to get some points. 
Uh, let's see. Let me make sure I get this one right. Um, okay. What is Johnny Gargano's singles record in NXT TakeOvers? I know Kibamba. Josh? He's 0 and 6. Nope, he's 1 and 5. Well, no one else got a chance to ask, but okay. <laughs> You know, Matty, I lost. All right, let's just. <laughs> Man, this is... <laughs> Nate, I'll be I'll be coming for that belt to unify it with this one. Well, you see, this actually, this... go ahead, get that one to James, and I'll keep this one right here. <laughs> this for, for the for the real. This is a six man championship. This was only a tag oh. team. Match. So this title was not on the line yeah. in this quiz. <laughs> this is a dusty wait, finish. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Unfortunately, so the free bird rule, so free bird rule pro- applies, but not if it's like two people fight, beating up three people. No, it, it, no, it, no, it, no. it's a six man title. It's oh, yeah. be a six man match. Okay. So if it, was, if it was the original three on three, this belt would be on the line, but it's not. So <laughs> this was a non-title triple threat tag <laughs> match. So. Uh-huh. Next time, boys. <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah, good job, Corbin. Good job. <laughs> just to confirm, Man, change the rules in the middle of this shit. <laughs> just to confirm the final scores, we actually get twenty-one in total. I mucked up at the end, but it doesn't really matter. We're still the the silver spoon, wooden spoon guys. Uh, twenty. You put a point off us? No, I put a point on. Uh, 26 points for Jeremy and Josh and with a staggering 34 points One Nation Radio are the champions so congratulations gentlemen alright yes, appreciate it uh, the next time we do Real. the next time you do this with all the planning involved Dan Matha will be the champion first so let's just oh, shit. it might be a while before we do this again <laughs> oh man Next time we gotta like actually be prepared. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Good for the first attempt, but thanks for coming on, guys. It was much appreciated. Next thanks time. for having us. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. For Next having us. This was get... great. Next time we yeah. should get Caleb on pretend as a quiz, and for the next for the entire two hours we just roast Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh, the, the Caleb Baldwin Who roast. Who Caleb? <laughs> right. So. Uh, Keeping It Strong Style, do you want to plug your stuff? <clears throat> yeah, so you can check out Keeping It Strong Style every Tuesday on the Social Suplex Podcast Network. On Christmas Day, we'll be dropping our award episode, announcing the winners of our second annual Keeping It Strong Style Year End Awards. So if you haven't voted, you haven't tell. Well, by the time this airs, you, you've probably already heard that episode. So just follow us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rich and James? If you're tired of listening to... Any, anybody that comes out here and masquerades as real quiz champions, oh come listen to One Nation Radio. Oh, fuck, we'll never hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Y'all can check us out uh, on One Nation Radio, Lords of Pain, uh, with TV reviews, and then y'all know what we do here on the Social Suplex Pod Network. We give no fucks, and we take it there. So, um, yeah, and our awards will be uh, dropping December 31st. We'll never Voting is already and, and apparently we're we're allowed to be this vulgar and talk this amount of shit because you know we, we know more than everybody else apparently. I know I was crazy how it works. Crazy. Do you know, remember you were saying you didn't mind us not listening to you? Well, if you're going to keep going on about this quiz for the rest of your podcasting life, then we'll not be listening anymore because I don't know if I'll be able to live this down. Oh, you know, you know what the best part about this is like. I'm I'm sure the best part about this is like this we're gonna eat y'all up is like y'all seem very like y'all really into this and really competitive about this. I don't really give a shit. Like we just So so here's how I came up my question like bro, like all right, like yesterday, just man Josh called me. I was stumped about all the rules. I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I spent bro, I came up with these questions on my computer at work. So yeah. That's the problem. Right. We are at Ricky and Clive on Twitter and Facebook. You can check out the rest of the podcasts that we have here. You've got these three guys. Uh, you've also got One Nation Radio, Grown Men Watch This Shit, Omega Look Wrestling Podcast, and Wilfred Watches Podcast. You can check out the Wrestling Squared Circle Facebook group. You can catch us all there. And socialsuplex.com has links to the podcasts and the columns via the subscribe button. 
leave us a five stars on the podcast app of your choice. Oh, thank God this is done. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We'll see you, we'll speak to you next week. We've got Ransom Kyle on for a, a New Year's board game special. Tune in for that one. And thanks for listening. Thanks again for joining us, gentlemen. We'll speak to you next time. See ya. Peace. Take care. Oh, Christ. My God. (laughs) Where's my fucking Rocky theme? (laughs) Thank you for listening to the Ricky and Clive Wrestling Podcast. We'll see you next time. See you next time.